Welcome to Truman's Town Hall with your host, Matt Truman. Hello, hello. I am Matt Truman and this is Truman's Town Hall coming to you live in cloudy, overcast. It's about to thunderstorm San Antonio, Texas. I hope everyone back in the Brick City is doing well. I hope you listening to this preview podcast. I hope you're doing well as well. That's weird. So I feel a little bit like, have you ever seen the movie Iron Eagle? You know, he he gets his, for the young bucks listening, there was something called a Walkman. Okay. But anyway, say, pretend it's your MP3 player or your phone and you strap it to your leg. Well, that's what he did with his Walkman. He played cassette tapes flying his plane and then he was just ripping it up, man. So I feel like Iron Eagle. I have my phone on my leg, cruising down the highway. But instead of a fighter jet, I'm driving a minivan. So, uh, yeah. So just like Iron Eagle, except I'm not shooting at, uh, I don't know. They were a fictitious country. I think they were fighting. Maybe meant to be Iran or whatever. But yeah, I feel like Iron Eagle right now doing the podcast, the preview podcast for what's coming up. All I need now is a Chappie. You remember Chappie from Iron Eagle? Lewis Gossett Jr., Academy Award winner. He left, uh, doggone it, I forget the guy's name, but he left him a tape and he said, listen, I want you to go out there and do your, I, I can't do the speech. I can't do Lewis Gossett Jr. Look it up. It's on Amazon. Watch, I think Iron Eagle 1 through like 24 is on Amazon. Check it out. When If you were a kid in the 80s, Iron Eagle, Bloodsport, Red Dawn, The Terminator, just all those. They, you know, they don't make movies like they do anymore. Or they did. They, they don't make movies like they used to. You know what I mean? Anywho. There are three words I want you to walk away after, walk away thinking after l- listening to this podcast. Freedom and conspiracy theory. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Freedom, transparency, and truth. Those are the three words I want you to have on your mind when you're done listening to Truman's Town Hall. No doubt. I I don't want any doubt. Those are the three things that not only I want you thinking, but I want to see more folks seeking. More freedom, more transparency, and more truth in government. That's what we need. From the local to the national, we need more of that. If you have more of that, I believe... That not only the quality of life for citizens throughout our country would be better, throughout the Brick City, but I believe the relationship between government and the people will be better. I believe that the relationship with inside the government structure will be better. If you have freedom, transparency, and truth... There is no way that I or anyone else, any politician, any little uh, guy doing a podcast can say anything negative, can spin anything, can create anything out of the blue if you have freedom, transparency, and the truth. So that's what we are going to work towards on this podcast in the coming weeks, months, and years. So on this little preview podcast, I'm going to give you a rundown of what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about House Bill 178 in Congress or in the Ohio State House. Excuse me. House Bill 178 at the Ohio State House. We're going to talk about constitutional carry. 
do you have the right to constitutionally carry no background checks no license none of that you can just wake up strap your pistol on and head out the door we're going to talk about that for some folks it makes them nervous like oh no I don't want somebody to have a pistol and just walk around the streets without the government saying they can do it. We're going to talk about that coming up this week. We're going to talk about the Huber Heights City Council work session. Oh, it was intriguing to listen to. After the city manager report, the mayor made an announcement. We'll talk about that. The Parks and Recs Board Chairman gave an update on the Parks and Recs Board. If you have time, I encourage you to go listen to that update. Very well done. You have a great chairman for the Parks and Rec Board. Wow. Very impressed. Excellent job. Excellent job. We are going to talk about council compensation council discussed that for a while we're also going to discuss the TIF district in Lexington Place yes still discussing that and there were a couple of interesting comments made by some of your council members that we're going to play later on in the week I, some things I didn't quite understand uh, comments made that it was like huh you can actually tell that somebody's trying to point things out without actually coming forward and pointing it out. So we're going to talk about that. And I think another thing we're going to do moving this podcast forward is we're going to talk more about what's in the Huber Heights City Charter. We're going to talk about more about what you can do to get involved with city government. We're going to talk more about, hey, maybe you would be interested and running for city council. Maybe you would be interested in running for, I don't know, state senator, state representative, whatever. We're going to talk more about how to get elected or the process around there. I am by far no expert on how to get elected, but in the past few years, I have learned quite a bit about the government process the process it takes to get on the ballot. I've learned about what it takes for all sorts of things. We're just going to go over all that. You may be interested. You may be the next city councilman of Huber Heights. You may be the next mayor. Who knows? Because last night something really sparked my interest in that. There was a, a story told about what if They were talking about council compensation. What if there's someone out there who's struggling to make ends meet and they can't, they want to run for city council, but they can't get a babysitter. That was, that was part of the, what I heard last night. So we're going to talk about how, how folks can get more involved. If there are folks out there, and I know there are, I know there are folks who want to run for city council or are just a little timid or maybe don't know how to quite go about doing that. We're going to, we're going to talk about all those, you know, all the basic things that you need to do to prepare yourself, prepare the paperwork, everything, all the mistakes that Matt Truman made I will share with you. I don't mind telling you, hey, I'm not perfect. You only learn through failure. I, I mean, if if you have a person who is just successful, success, everything they do is just perfect, they're not learning anything. Michael Jordan missed layups. Michael Jordan missed dunks. The man is the greatest basketball player of all times, arguably. I know the LeBron James thing and whatnot, but arguably the greatest basketball player of all times. And he will tell you he has failed at things and he's had to learn how to overcome, adapt and overcome. That's what you do. 
So, I think having a little time spent to talk about the charter, to talk about how you can get involved more with your government, would be beneficial on this podcast, Truman's Town Hall. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please direct them to truepodcast at gmail.com. Message the Truman's Town Hall podcast, Facebook page, Twitter, whatever. Hit us up. But coming, you got the preview. Now I have to go do the work and get this all set up because we got clips to pull. We got things to, to bring to you ideas to share and I hope you tune in later this week share it with your friends thank you for listening to Truman's Town Hall share this podcast with your friends and neighbors and subscribe today